Because I got so many new subscribers, I decided to make a video about separating the hydrosol from the essential oil. Got a few new pieces for my still. New heating mantle with power adapter. A lot better control. Serious quick heat up and slow down. Cool down. New reservoir flask with a uh, larger opening so it's easier to get the herbage in and out and a inside out condenser where the water actually runs through the coil and the essential oil condenses on the outside it's a lot easier to clean and this piece here is really nice it allows to collect the essential oil and separates out the hydrosol as you as you run this the setup so basically it just makes it easier to separate the essential oil and that's something that I do recommend to anybody who's doing this and is having issues with separating the oil and the hydrosol this is a great way to start you can see how the oil is nice and concentrated uh, like in my last video, the collection flask was just a bottom flask and it touches a lot of sides on the way up that flask and collects differently than it does in here. This is really nice. And the oil I'm going to use is Yarrow Essential Oil since it's vibrant blue azuline color will allow us to see just exactly how to separate the two. So I'm ready to separate the hydrosol from the essential oil. You can clearly see the difference there. The azuline and the yarrow oil turns blue as it oxidizes into a deep deep blue for those who don't know so the one thing that I really like is a white bottom cup like this teacup and a dropper it's also nice to have a bottle to put your essential oil in. I got, I got these bottles custom made from O'Brien's Glassworks in Illinois. They work really well. So, the first step is to get rid of the remaining hydrosol. Okay, and now I'm going to put the remaining hydrosol and essential oil into the white teacup. So now that the essential oil is in the teacup, from this point, I just basically just take it out with the dropper. Now when I turn the cup, you should be able to see, there it is, right in the center. That's the hydrosol, and the rest is essential oil. So I can essentially just squeeze this off until all I'm left with is the hydrosol. We'll give it a try here. So now that there's a lot more hydrosol than essential oil, or at least it's equaled out, you can really see the difference. And as long as the top cup is tilted, you can see how they keep separate. And so I can just squeeze that off until I'm right up to the rim of the hydrosol. And because of the consistency of the liquids, the essential oil will more or less stick with itself. 